Well, if you'd like to go ahead and just uh, start off with an opening statement on the second victory in a row. Yeah, it feels nice to have two on the weekend. That was our plan. Um, but really, that was just the outcome. You know, the process of it all was getting better tonight, getting better every set. And we really did a nice job at that um, as a whole. You know, I don't think our, our offense, or our defense outshine one another. I think it was a real team effort. One thing I will say is uh, we're really missing Sam Hesterman. Um, she's going to be back and meet us in Anchorage. So, gosh, what a nice treat that'll be to have her back. It'll just, you know, amplify our defense even more. Um, I thought Meg Olson did a really nice job tonight. She is the person to pick up our tips and dumps. And they have a nice athletic setter, and she really took advantage of, of that. Um, but I'm really proud of our offense. You know, we're, we're hitting 400s and 300s. Um, on almost all of our athletes and they really played without fear tonight and we've been talking about that all week so I'm really thankful for that. Uh, any well, questions Coach, Jeff? Yeah Coach, um, I, I think I remember in the last, uh, last, I think last time we talked um, you said you liked how your girls were reacting when they were out of system. How did you see that um, play out tonight? How they were able to maintain themselves when they were out of system? You know, out of system and when the other team was serving tough at us, you know, SMU had a couple great servers, got, servers and got us into a bit of trouble. But, um, you know, we started to kind of get a little shaky in there. And that's when I took a couple early timeouts to remind them it doesn't matter what just happened. All that matters is this point. That's the only one you can take care of. Um, and also to remind them that there's no serve that can break us. Might get a couple points on us, but it's, it's our choice to then make those those changes quicker. Um, so there was there's a little bit more anxiety on the team tonight, and um, I think it was because SMU is a little bit better matched opponent for us. They really did a nice job offensively spreading things out, and defensively just made some incredible um, incredible digs. So that gave us a lot more um, to have to work for. And when you're seeing, like you mentioned, 400s and 300s from your hitters. Balance scoring mm -hmm. um, 9, 11, 15, 16 kills, and Miranda with 43 assists. Um, mm -hmm. Just just speak about, I guess, uh, Miranda's progression, how she's really you know figuring out how to spread it out to everyone, and everyone can be a fan. Yeah, we, we talk about spreading out our offense and kind of percentages where we want the sets to go, and she's she's extremely coachable, really intelligent. Um, she's been coming in and doing more reps. Um, one of the things that we've talked about is her, her leadership, and she's new even though she's a junior. But she has, you know, a freshman setter that sometimes goes in for her that she needs to really act as a big sister and lead her not only not only to help her in the future but our whole team. And so she's really um, finally started to come into, okay, this is my team, even though I've only been here for a few weeks. Um, she's leading because she's a natural leader, so I like that. Uh, and I like to have her in all the time when we can because she's nice, nice on defense. She's... Um, She's somebody that won't take no for an answer, and it's nice to have that fight, too. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is about the, the third set. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like to watch your team play that well yeah. dur during a set like that? It was awesome. Yeah, this is one of the best wins that we've had. Um, you know, really since I've been here, and it's because it meant so much to us. Uh, we didn't feel like we had to win tonight. That was that was something we stressed. But to really be able to sit back and let your team do what they do best and they execute, that was that was really nice. It was something that, um, you know, I felt confident in each one of them. Um, I felt like, I think we used like two subs. I felt good about the athletes that were out there and they refocused really quick. And instead of, um, you know, feeling good about maybe um, a big lead, they kept pressing on. So again, that's in our game plan. Mm -hmm. Coach, let's talk about your next uh, matchup. You have some time for uh, going to UAA. Um, this is the weekend, guys. Say you're going to turn things around. You guys have got all the momentum in the world going in. Um, I guess what are some of the key things that you're looking at um, going, you know, at UAA? A very good team in the GNAC. Of course, your rivals. Yeah, it doesn't matter who is ranked what. When we get together with each other, it's on and anything could happen. And that's what I love about rivalries. It is just so strong. Um, we're going to work a lot on blocking. They are incredibly talented up at the net. And not only are they well coached, but they're athletic. And we love that. You know, we want to we wanna play against that. It's going to make us better. And so we're going to work a lot on blocking. Um, not only blocking, but when we can't get there, what do we do in the backcourt? And so those are things that we're just going to continue to get better at. Um, they have some great jumpers, and, and so do we in our gym. So we're going to put us up against each other and um, hit high, hit hard, and keep doing what we do best.
Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach.